I start my next journal, I've, I've just come in to show you this. It's a journal diary, actually, um, a daily, a daily uh, journal that you can write things in. Well, a friend of mine, uh, Denise and I, we started um, this together and I absolutely love it. It's a hardback. We, we did it from scratch and it's grey board. But, and I love the elastic tie back, which I did here because it goes all the way over and keeps it closed. And that's the back there. But when we started this in 2019, little did we know um, what was going to happen because I didn't really use it in 2019. <coughs> Excuse me, but I started using it in 2020 and it actually had 2019 on the pages january february march but oh use your finger shirley not your nails but i i went in and i deleted or ripped out all the reference to 2019 because i thought i'd rather this be a a, a, a yearly um journal but it doesn't matter what year i can fill the year in myself so that's what i've been doing but um this turned out quite a a, a sad journal as well because when i changed it i started it in probably the end of uh, 2019 and the beginning of 2020 but we all know that the um covid started in well they found first found out about the covid in at the end of december 2019 and i lost my brother in february 2020 um very sad but we We'll, we'll never know, but we think he died. He was in a nursing home and we think he did die of COVID, but we will never know, actually. Um, and that was the first person in that year to pass away. But then all, th uh, all through the year, I lost three people, very, very dear to me. Two brothers and one absolutely dear friend for years I'd known him but and so I stopped writing in here really I put all the things in here that um, I wanted to but I stopped writing in it but I'm going to start writing in it again and because it does make me happy and I shouldn't feel guilty that I feel happy when I use it but um I've put the things in there that I need to put in there. So January here, I'm going to, um, I haven't, uh, I've put little things here. I, I started to write and that was the end of 2019 there. But um, I do love it. So I shouldn't really feel sad and not writing it. So I thought I'd come and just give you a, a show and tell of the journal. I have things to finish. I want to put a little um, ribbon there or something, but this is a bird stamp and then I coloured him and I, col I coloured him to match the daisies there. I thought that was so, so pretty. So there he is there and I won't go through and show you everything. I'll just um, show you bits of it. Um, because I, I've done loads in there. This is stamping, this is uh, stenciling and collaging, which I love. So I'm just going to go through January and then I'll, I'll come back and show you February. But each month I'll come back and show you uh, a month. So, as I say, I started putting writing in there. And this is um, this isn't a pocket; it's just collaging. But I've also I like with collaging that I go in and and highlight and I'll colour 
certain areas just to, as I say, highlight them. And so they stand out a little bit more. Um, this is another page. And what I actually did with this page is I've made a little notebook there. Haven't written in there, but I should do now. Uh, just little collaged pages and you can write things. So I will, I will start writing in here. I've got lots of little uh, notes to myself and I have them in a, a book. So I'm going to transfer them all into these little um, books and pages in here. So this is a, a flip up here and not all who wander are lost. Isn't that lovely? So that was a little envelope um, and put, oh, this is a Stampin' Up stamp as well. I could feel that there. And I stamped him in, in blue and then I've decoupaged him onto the envelope, the back of the, well, it would have been the front, but it's the back now, the way I've done the flip. So, and there's, little safety pin a little bit a little a little raggedy really so that's a little bit of sari silk there and the little notebook goes in there so i will be filling that in and again see i put all these pages in here ready to do but uh, the writing and fill it in, I have to do this and that. But as I said, um, I didn't get round to it because it was quite sad to open it, but, but it isn't now, which is good. So this is another envelope with a little raggedy and then it opens up and follow your dreams. Isn't that lovely? And inside, it's just another little book all my coffee dyed papers. Um, oh, and this here, I made it into a pocket there and a pocket there. So I can put tiny little, um, if you go on a, a train journey, bus journey, your little tickets can go in here and another little pocket there and there. And then just pages, a little pocket there Now, I wonder if that should that should be that way. <laughs> um, yes, obviously, Shirley, because there's a little pocket here, there, and my coffee dyed papers there. But I folded this one over to give us the pocket there and a pocket there, and I didn't glue that one down, but I did there, and I did there as well to give you lots of little pockets for tickets and to write on so this just tucks into the envelope there like that um, and then it's got a postcard on there and follow your dreams as I say um, lots of gesso I've used in here as well there's another page Quite a few of the pages are all finished. They've been finished for a long time, but, and that's a little, just a note, and then a tag there. I love those little birdies. I didn't color those, they were already colored, so, and just a little pocket there for those. One of the Tim Holtz die cut flowers, and I die cut those with um, I can't remember. See, it's so long ago. This I can't remember the digi papers I've used, but if I if I find out, I'll put them down a link in the description box below. There, um, more flowers, more collaging, just any little bits of paper you have on your desk. You know, you should just throw it in again another I don't think that's a pocket it could be let me let me have a quick look for you yes it is a pocket there you go um, wasn't sure so I'm going to find something to put in that pocket there another raggedy there 
which is lovely. Now I have highlighted her. Can you see? I've used Perfect Pearls and I've highlighted her headdress there and I've highlighted her necklace as well there. And that's a decoupage flower arrangements. And then the quote, wonder always. I punched that stamp out and then I've just done little doodles all around the punch and I've done little do doodles all around the girl there, the image of the girl. And this page, oh uh, no, can you see this page here that I've um, pulled out, that's actually what had the dates on and the year but as I said I didn't want it as just a 2019 journal so I've took out the pages that with the reference to the 2019 but this is just all collaging um sari silk lots of finger finger gesso in as well and collaging pages there so we're up to February now so I'll come back in another video uh, and I'll show you February because I've got all of February to go because this is um, coming up to when my oldest brother died. So um, I want to take this out and then I'll come back to it. But that's gone through January there. And as I say, I've got lots of little notes that I'm going to fill in the pages with January. So I'll come back periodically with this and show you the journal but i like this that was another thing as well the closure this is another way to do a closure without having one of the little um knobs here to pull the elastic onto you can make the closure all the way around and then you just pull it that is not going to come off it's so secure and i've done the closure more or less the same way as I showed in another video, um, how to do it. It's on the last page here, there. And I poked a, 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 did a hole through the center and that was with um, my crocodile. It was with the big bite actually to get uh, so that I could go to the centre to make the hole. And then I got a um, an eyelet. These are bigger eyelets, actually, uh, because um, I knew that I wanted a fairly tight closure. So I used a bigger eyelet there, so it was more secure. And then this side, I did the same thing. I just uh, tied a knot in the elastic. I glued it all around and then I came in and I did decoupaging on the back and so you see none of the workings of where the elastic is in there and because you've glued everything down you've glued the elastic um, inside so that is never going to come undone so that's that how I did that closure there I might do an, one and do a video on it because um, I have I might do my next uh, journal as this. But anyway, that's showing you January. And I'll come back uh, in another video just at the beginning and I'll show you February. Thanks for watching, girls.